Ambien now. I think we're going through security and uh, boarding or luggage thing to get our luggage. So that's what we're about to do right now. And then we're going to get in the shuttle. No, I think we're going to get in the car to um, go to our resort. So this is surreal right now. We're really in Africa. We're about to take our shoes off in a little while. When we feel comfortable, we're going to be barefoot the majority of the time. I can't even I can't even put into words how I feel right now. Like there's no words right now at all. Just I don't know. something new and just you know be filled with the the spirits of the our creator you know that's all so peace samule <laughs> we're sitting at the airport waiting for our flight to take off at 6 p.m this is my first time on a plane and so um nervous would not be the word for it but I'm trying not to speak negative affirmations, so I'm not going to say exactly. I won't. Yes. And um, we're heading to Africa. So that's going to be really nice. <laughs> um, I'll check you all on the plane. When we get on the plane, or when we checking in or whatever. I'll keep it posted. Let's start. Step into your road and allow those passengers behind you to pass by to help expedite this boarding process. We would greatly appreciate it. Please stow your larger carry on items to your roll aboard. Wheels first to the overhead larger carry on, ensuring that the area around your feet is completely clear. If you are seated in an, even if you are a frequent flyer, it's your aircraft. stay there for about four hours until our next flight that takes us into the Gambia. Okay, we are in Belgium. No, that, Brussels. Brussels. And like this is like the way we get to our next connection flight. But they have like all these stores and stuff. And cosmetics and wines and stuff. I might get a waffle while I'm here. I guess they're supposed to be good for waffles. Brussels, I don't know. Belgium. I don't know. But yeah, we have to go to the bathroom because I have to freshen up. I got brush my teeth and a whole bunch of other stuff. Moisturize. I feel like myself again. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna zoom in on your mouth for this one. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're about to do. We're just gonna freshen up. We got four hours to our next connection flight, and then we'll be in Gambia. 
Africa. So yeah, that's what's up. Ooh, la, la, la. last night so I didn't sleep as much as I would have liked to sleep but um just being here is just energizing enough to wake me up this is my view from the patio you see the other hotel rooms it looks like a hut right it looks so nice and I'm um, here let me just open it so you can see outside too oh I gotta tell you about last night oh my gosh okay so this is the outside this is my patio. So Miles' patio is over there, but this is how the um, hotel rooms look. We're staying at Belafon Hotel Resort. And look at the tree right there, so cool. This is the top of the um, patio area, it's so dope. Yeah, so um, let me see. So we got here last night around 10-ish after, you know, it was time to eat. So we didn't really get to eat anything. And I was so tired. Um, we just ended up spending a little time together, me and my husband, and um, trying to go to sleep. He went to sleep, um, you know. But me, I was up like to like four in the morning or something. And so this morning, I woke up this morning um, around 11-ish, close to 12. And yeah. That's how I'm starting my day. I wanted to start it off earlier, but I just couldn't because I was so tired this morning. But um, now we're about to head out and find some food and let's get this started, get this African journey started. But let me show you the hotel room. Just left the patio. This is the sitting area right here. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it better. I know that you're getting it. All right, this is the sitting area. Got a little chair right there. This is so cute. I want this for myself. If I had bigger bags, then I'd be taking more of this kind of stuff home. But I can't. I have to have you know a certain amount. That is our sofa sitting area. Then it's it's actually like a sunken sitting area. It has a step right there, and then right in front is the TV with the remotes. And I guess it's a little drawer right here. Oh, a refrigerator, Raheem. Well, I didn't know that. Get some water. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I don't know if I was in here. But, oh, so I got some surprise water then. Um, they gave us an iron because my husband definitely needs to iron his clothes. And the tea area and coffee area. And then um, we have some curtains right here to cover the windows. And that is the door to enter. This is the closet area. There's a top area for storing your luggage, and then the bottom area is where I keep my clothes I'll be wearing. And you'll see all of these outfits as the days progress. All right, so this is a full-length mirror, and this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a dress that I made with African fabric um, from my vendor. What's cool is that today I might be going to get some African fabric in the shopping area, 
that I pick out myself from Africa, so that's so cool. This is the bathroom. I like the door. It's a bit messy because, of course, we used it a couple times. Um, this is the glass door that covers the shower. And then uh, the shower is right there, the walk-in shower. It's very, very beautiful. I love it. And the ceilings are high. All of the ceilings have this bamboo texture. And I love the light in the bathroom. The light in the bathroom kind of doubles for us as a nightlight because we left it on last night while we slept and it was really peaceful. And the toilet area, really nice and sleek looking. There's the sink, like a bowl sink, and then got the full length mirror. Hey again. Uh, so yeah, this is the bathroom. And then this is our bed. Right now we're getting ready to go, so it's, it's gonna be messy, but it's absolutely beautiful. Say hi, husband. Hi, husband. <laughs> and this is the ceiling again. I'm gonna tell you something funny. That area right there you're seeing right here, a big old lizard crawls into that area because last night when we came in, the guy opened up those curtains right there. And when he opened up the curtains, a big old, big giant lizard just started running up the ceiling wall right there and then up to the top over there, over our bed and into that little hole. And you know what? I did not care at all because I'm in Africa, okay? Now, if I was home and I saw a cockroach, then I would be fighting for my life. But I, I, went to, I went to lay down. I didn't go to sleep, but I went to lay down. I was not thinking about that lizard at all. I was just up with jet lag, but that lizard did not cross my mind. That lizard could have crawled in bed with us and I would have been cool because I'm in Africa. You think I'm going to complain about a lizard who lived here first? I'm not going to do that. I'm good. I'm good. I'm absolutely good. So, so now we're just going to head out and try to find something to eat. Hopefully we have success. You know, I'm down to eat, you know, some nice, authentic Gambian dishes. I want, you know, the real, real. I'm not coming here for pizza and cheeseburgers. I want what the locals eating. So we're going to find out right now what that is. Okay. All right, so we left the resort and we are on the street now. Um, absolutely barefoot. I don't show my feet from many people, but I feel obliged to show it now. Anyway, um, we're on the strip. We're waiting for a ride to come pick us up because we have some things set up on our itinerary. I don't really know what we're gonna do, but I do know that me and Raheem are starving. So he could fast. But I, I, I need some food. Fasting is good for the spirit, so that's what you got to remember. Yes, it when is. You, when you're not eating, you're feeding your spirit. Mm -hmm. And you're healing. When you're not eating physically, you're feeding your spirit spiritually. And you're healing too. Yeah, he's right. We're going to eat soon too. So yeah, we're just waiting right now for the, the ride. When the ride comes, we'll see what happens next.
anything we you do, they must comment it. I can't come and be myself. So anything we you do, I they try to destroy me. I can't be Plenty, 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 so I can't be myself. I'm not a good But my people can go say, I don't want to die. I know not want to die. I know not want to die. I want to enjoy. I want to chop life. I want to buy my dough. I want to build house. I still want to know. Tell me, tell me. This is, uh, I think it's like day three or something like that. I forgot to do um, a video when I came home, well, to the hotel last night because we was doing so much. Day three. Okay. Well, um, yesterday after we finished everything we did, um, it was late and we were exhausted because we did a whole lot of walking. Like we walked the whole time. And I was walking barefoot the whole time, which was a great experience. It was really fun. Um, some people were asking me, where's my shoes? But I just told them, like, it's in my bag, and I'm enjoying myself walking barefoot. And then it was no big deal. But um, we got a whole lot of things that we liked. Um, I got a lot of fabric. I got a lot of waist beads. But, you know, it's never enough. So I'm looking forward to our next um, shopping excursion. Um, but for today, we're probably just going to be doing some um, local stuff. My husband wants to get some milk and some honey and a few things for himself. So we're going to see um, what we can pick up for him and just see what the day takes us. But um, as I said, yesterday was really great. We went to dinner at our guide's house and he, um, they cooked um, domada, which is a meal that I really wanted to eat even before I got here to Gambia, I was looking it up in the States and it was just something that I really wanted to have. And I had it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so good. I gotta learn how to make it myself. So I was happy about that. And um, we just, you know, just did some local stuff and it was just really chill yesterday. A, a, a real vibe, a real authentic Gambian experience yesterday. And I'm looking forward to the days to follow and see what we, we find next and we do next and we explore next and we meet next. You know, it's just all, up in the air and we're just going wherever the wind takes us so we'll see what happens today and you're invited to come along so let's go all right so we're heading um downstairs to where our tour guide is waiting for us i don't know what we're about to do but we're gonna do something so let's just see it's gonna be exciting Yeah. 
community access. <laughs> ground it's well water straight from the earth you know under under the ground is water there you go pour all of it okay two more yeah Right. Salt. Salt. Yeah. Salt. Sea salt. Yeah. Salt. This gonna be so good. Okra. I already know it. I see okra. Yeah. Yeah. Okra. Ooh, okra. <laughs> Green onion. Yeah. Tomato. Yeah. Yes. I saw the pour on, on um, YouTube. <laughs> He said, she said, he, she is. Yes, yeah. It's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Give her a day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I'm gonna need time to process that. 